The animation begins with the story of a wooden puppet named Don. Don has an incredible imagination. In his mind, he is a hero on a mission to save a beautiful princess, facing dangerous obstacles and fighting giant monsters. But in reality, his life is far from exciting. In the real world, Don is just a puppet who plays the role of a silly clown to entertain the audience. During one of these lively performances, the audience doesn't realize that their belongings are being stolen by Billy and Millie, two sneaky pickpocket siblings. After stealing what they wanted, they tossed aside anything they didn't find valuable, like a teddy bear named DJ Doggy Dog. When the show ended and the people were gone, the wooden puppets came to life, just like in Toy Story. They were all happy because the show had gone well, but not Don. Don was tired of always being the silly clown and wanted to be the hero for once. Soon after, Don went to Sonny, who was in charge of assigning roles, and asked to be given a new role as the hero who saves the princess, just like in his dreams. Sadly, Sonny refused and even laughed at Don's request. To all the other puppets, Don was only fit to be the silly clown forever. In the warehouse, Don's imagination runs wild again as he pretends to fight a goblin who has kidnapped a beautiful princess. His brave moves and vivid imagination make Dee feel like it's all real. Dee is impressed and thinks Don should replace Alfonso as the main actor on stage. But when Don suggests this to his friends, they still don't take him seriously and laugh at him, calling him a silly clown. That same night, Doggy finds himself under a dark bridge. Being easily scared, Doggy runs around looking for someone to be his friend and keep him company when he's frightened. Sadly, every creature he asks to be his friend turns him down. The next morning, before the show begins, Don decides to leave the theater. He tells Dee that he's tired of being made fun of by the other wooden puppets. To prove how great he really is, Don plans to go on an adventure like a hero to find the Cloud Palace that he read about in his hero book. Before he leaves, Sonny asks Don if he's really going on this journey alone and if the Cloud Palace he's searching for is even real or just something from his imagination. Feeling unsure, Don invites Sonny and Dee to come with him and witness his success in finding the Cloud Palace. But Dee is too scared of the world outside the theater, especially of how cruel humans can be. Sonny also feels that she can't go because she doesn't have a proper body to make the trip. At the start of his journey, Don let his imagination run wild. He imagined himself facing tough challenges until he came across a dog. In his mind, this dog turned into a fierce fire lion, becoming his first enemy on the way to the Cloud Palace. Defeating this creature wasn't easy, and Don had to act like a real hero. Just when things got tough, Doggy suddenly appeared to help Don. Don was surprised to see Doggy in the middle of his imagination, but was also happy to meet him because Don was looking for a partner to travel to the Cloud Palace. Without any hesitation, Doggy agreed to join Don. There, Doggy admitted that he had always been left out, so he hoped that Don could be a true friend and even family, someone who wouldn't abandon him. Together, they continued their journey to the Cloud Palace. Even though Don wasn't sure where the Cloud Palace was, he believed that if they kept searching, they would eventually find it. As evening came, Don suggested they take a break. During this rest, Don suddenly confessed that he missed the theater, especially Dee, a beautiful wooden doll who always supported him. To Don, the theater was like home, the only place where he felt he truly belonged. But Doggy was curious about who originally brought them to life and made them perform on stage. Don explained that there was once a middle-aged man who created them and directed all their performances. But as time passed, the man died in the theater, and to keep his dream alive, Don and all the wooden puppets worked together to continue putting on shows as if the man were still there. This man was the source of Don's wild imagination for the performances, but sadly, the other wooden dolls always rejected his ideas, thinking he was just a silly clown puppet. To cheer Don up, Doggy suggested that Don press a button on his paw, which played DJ music from Doggy's body. Meanwhile, he was still waiting for Don to come back, feeling worried about him. Out of nowhere, Billy and Millie showed up at the theater again. This time, they planned to steal all the wooden dolls and sell them for a lot of money. Luckily, a police officer caught them in the act, and Billy and Millie had to give up their plan and run away. The next day, Don woke up when he heard a duck crying for help in the park. Then, a mother duck told him that while she was teaching her duckling to fly, the little one got stuck in a windmill. Wanting to be a hero who helps everyone, Don used his imagination again, 
pretending he was about to fight a dragon to save the duckling. Even though Doggy told Don that his imagination was a bit too wild, it ended up helping Don save the duckling and even encourage it to fly. The mother duck was very grateful to Don and Doggy. When she asked how she could repay them, Don simply asked her to spread the story of his heroic deed to all the creatures she met. Back at the theater, Dee told the other wooden puppets about how Billy and Millie tried to steal them. For everyone's safety, Dee suggested they prepare and hide in pairs, just in case Billy and Millie came back that night. Unfortunately, Alfonso didn't take Dee's warning seriously. He even teased Dee, saying she was imagining things ever since Don left the theater. Because of Alfonso's words, the other wooden dolls also started doubting Dee. Soon after, it began to rain, soaking the area where Don and Doggy were. Since Doggy's body had electrical parts that could short-circuit if they got wet, he asked Don if they could find shelter before continuing their journey. Luckily, they found shelter just in time. Doggy then admitted that if he got too wet, he might not survive. After the rain stopped, Don and Doggy faced a new problem. The road ahead was flooded, and three raccoon kids were trapped in the river. Before the strong current could sweep them away, Don quickly came up with a plan. He used a toy boat to rescue them. In his wild imagination, Don pictured himself and Doggy on a pirate ship, sailing through stormy seas and battling sea monsters. As a hero who wanted to save all living things, Don knew he had to be brave. Their rescue mission led them into the city sewers, where they finally managed to save the three raccoon kids. But now, they had a new challenge which was figuring out how to escape from the sewers. Meanwhile, just as Dee had feared, Billy and Millie returned to the theater to steal all the wooden dolls. Sonny heard them coming and quickly woke up the other dolls to warn them. But since they had been tricked by Alfonso, Billy easily broke into the theater and captured several of the wooden dolls. At that time, Sonny tried to fight back, but it was no use against Billy and Millie. Luckily, Dee was prepared. She began to fight back, using anything she could find in the theater to scare Billy. At first, her efforts seemed to work, but then Millie took control and managed to load all the wooden dolls into their car. Desperate, Dee came up with a risky plan. She decided to use Alfonso as a distraction to help the others escape. She cut the straps holding them and pressed the trunk button, hoping they could all get out together. But Alfonso, instead of helping the others, selfishly pressed the button to save himself. Alfonso's cowardly actions made all the wooden dolls realize that he wasn't the hero they had thought he was. Dee couldn't help but wish that Don was still there. If he had been, maybe they could have all been saved. Meanwhile, Don, Doggy, and the three raccoon kids were still stuck in the sewer. To keep the raccoon kids calm, Doggy started a rap battle to entertain them until their toy boat finally reached the end of the sewer. In this tense moment, Don put the safety of the raccoon kids first by lifting them out of the sewer. But suddenly, the boat tipped over, and both Don and Doggy fell into the water. Even though Don heard his leg and Doggy's DJ music circuit got damaged, they managed to survive without anyone getting seriously hurt. Seeing the damage, Doggy was really upset with Don. He decided he didn't want to continue the journey to the Cloud Palace and left Don to go on alone with his wild imagination. Feeling lonely, Doggy later met up with the three raccoon kids and their parents. The raccoon parents were thankful to learn that Doggy and Don had saved their children. The father raccoon also heard about Doggy's rap skills from his kids and challenged Doggy to a rap battle. On the other hand, Don finally reached the Cloud Palace. But just as he was about to enter, Don suddenly fell and snapped out of his wild imagination. This made him realize that everything the other wooden dolls and Doggy had said about his imagination was true. All the exciting adventures he had just experienced were only in his head. Don hadn't really fought a fire lion or a dragon. Feeling regretful, Don decided to return to the theater. When Don arrived at the theater, he was shocked to find it empty, except for Alfonso, who was hiding, and Sonny, who was tied up. There, Alfonso explained that the night before, Billy and Millie had stolen all the wooden dolls. Luckily, Alfonso had escaped and hid in the theater. Angry, Don told Alfonso that he only thought about himself and didn't care about what happened to the others. Not wanting to leave his friends in danger any longer, Don quickly set out to rescue them. He found a real horse and followed the oil trail left by Billy and Millie's car. As Don rode through the city at night, passing various obstacles, people and birds who saw him were amazed, thinking he was a true hero. And Doggy, 
Hearing about Don's brave actions from the birds called him the Central Park hero. When Don reached Billy and Millie's hideout, he bravely sneaked inside. At first, Don felt unsure if he could save his friends or if he might get caught too. But his determination to protect them kept him going. Without using his wild imagination this time, Don managed to get inside. Unfortunately, due to a mistake, he ended up trapped in a box with the other wooden dolls that were about to be sold. To escape, Don remembered his broken leg. He used the broken pieces to cut through the plastic wrap, and with Dee's help, they all managed to break free. Don then led his friends toward the exit, but they were too scared to go further. At that moment, Dee encouraged Don to use his imagination again, reminding him that his creativity had helped him overcome many challenges before. She asked Don to share his imagination with their friends so they could all see the possibilities he envisioned. Inspired by Don's imaginative thinking, the group began to see Billy and Millie as giant villains that they could defeat. Gaining confidence, they made their way to the window, ready to escape. Soon after, Don led them through several obstacles, carefully avoiding Billy and Millie while also finding ways to attack them. However, when Billy and Millie realized that the wooden dolls could move like humans, they became even more determined to sell them for a huge profit. To help his friends escape, Don created a distraction, letting Dee and the others get out first. But in doing so, Don put himself in great danger. Not long after, Doggy arrived at Billy and Millie's hideout. Feeling guilty for leaving Don to continue the adventure alone, Doggy decided to make things right. He promised to stay by Don's side no matter what. But Billy and Millie weren't ready to give up. They tried hard to capture all the wooden dolls again, chasing Don and his friends through the city on a scooter. Luckily, the police caught up with Billy and Millie, who turned out to be wanted criminals. Shortly after, the chase ended in the middle of a city park. The police finally arrested Billy and Millie and took them away. Meanwhile, Don and his friends returned to the theater, filled with joy. After all the adventures, the wooden dolls realized that Don was the hero they had always wanted. His dream of becoming a hero had finally come true. Doggy also got his wish for a family-like group of friends. Then, Don kept his promise and welcomed Doggy as a new member of the theater family. At that time, all the wooden dolls accepted Doggy with open hearts and promised never to leave him behind. On the other hand, the wooden dolls, especially Dee, were very disappointed with Alfonso. They realized Alfonso wasn't a hero because he only cared about himself. So, they decided to give Don Alfonso's role. With Don's imaginative ideas and Doggy's music, the puppet performances became even more amazing from that day on. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is sometimes, being a hero means thinking outside the box and always keep a DJ doggy around because life's better with a soundtrack.